What's up everybody? Dr. Mel here. As you can see, I am chilling on this paddleboard on the lake as these waves come. And today I wanted to talk to you about navigating waves. I was paddleboarding yesterday. It's the weekend of the 4th of July. And I was paddleboarding yesterday, paddled all the way around the lake. And it got choppy at certain points. You know, it's probably a 45 minute paddle and it got pretty choppy at certain points because there's a lot of speed boats out and that creates waves. And I got to thinking, and I, I didn't fall, mind you. I've paddle boarded quite a bit, so I know how to navigate waves. But I was thinking, you know, how does this apply to life? Because as many of you know, I like to relate things in my daily life to teachings, to teach you all, to live more thriving, inspiring lives. And I was thinking, you know, the best way to navigate waves in the ocean, in lakes, when you're paddling along and cruising along is, in, for any of you who have paddle boarded or canoed or done anything like that, the best way to handle the waves is to take it head on. So if the waves are coming this way, you don't want to be parallel with the waves because a paddle board or a canoe or a boat is long. And so you have a higher rate and a higher um, susceptibility of capsizing. So you want to take the waves straight on, perpendicular. So when it would get super choppy yesterday, I would tell myself, take it head on. I'm going to own the waves rather than the waves own me. And I didn't fall. And honestly, it felt I felt much more strong as I was paddling through the waves and taking it head on. And I got to thinking, you know, when it comes to holidays, 4th of July, right, this year is a little different. And I hope it's helping us all reflect on freedom and liberty and what that actually means in our country. But oftentimes when there's holidays upon us, there can be different triggers, whether um, you're dealing with family trauma or you're dealing with food, right? Food is a big thing when it comes to holidays. And right now for me, many of you know, I'm doing the whole 30 and I was noticing a pattern. You know, I always associate holidays with like, junk food and just more sugar and alcohol and all that and generally I will you know imbibe but I'm doing the whole 30 right now and I wanted to stick to that and I call these navigating the waves of life because life will throw triggers at you life will throw experiences at you in order to keep you on track and to have you check in with yourself so my invitation for you all is whether you're you know watching your mindfulness with food whether you're healing from family trauma or emotional trauma or whatever that is and your family can maybe be a source of trigger for you just one of the things that I have found when it comes to taking those waves head on is just notice become aware and notice the pattern notice your emotions notice how you feel for me yesterday I was really craving certain things and I really want to finish this whole 30 strong and your brain will create association pathways when it comes to holidays and things that your brain remembers. Oh, I associate holidays with cake or alcohol or all those types of things. So I was noticing yesterday, I was like, oh, I could really go for a beer, right? Because on Whole30, you say no to beer for 30 days or say no to alcohol. So I, I was just noticing my emotions and noticing my cravings and just say, okay, you know, this isn't a forever thing for me. I don't believe in restricting yourself forever. I believe in sustainability. But I just noticed what I noticed in my body and noticed the pattern and noticed how easily it could have been to just dip into old patterns. But instead, I always ask myself, okay, how can I show up differently right now? Even if it's just for this day, for this hour, for this weekend, see as the waves are coming, how you navigate these waves is asking yourself, how do I want to show up? And it, it requires being conscious and it requires being mindful of the patterns. And that's one of the big things that I teach. And one of the first things you have to become aware of is just noticing, acknowledging, hey, I'm noticing this in my body. I'm noticing this in my emotions. How do I desire to show up or continue to show up if you're committing to perhaps a program like Whole30 or anything that you're committed to? So I wanted to share that today because it got me thinking when I was navigating the waves and I'm navigating the waves today. It's a beautiful day out here on the lake. And I believe that we all can, here's another paddleboard. I believe that we all can do this, no matter what it is you're committing to. I believe that we can all get better at, at navigating the waves and becoming the surfers of our life. It doesn't mean that waves don't come, but how can you better own them rather than have them own you? So I hope this inspires you today and I hope you have a great weekend. And just first step is to become aware. You got this, I believe in you. Peace, love, and keep inspiring.